My name is Mackenzie Miller. I reached out to Amy to contact my younger sister, Allison. I never had a session or anything like that. Are you a mom? No, um, our little sister though is pregnant oh, right now. Shut up. <laughs> oh, she goes like this. She goes, oh, and the baby. That's what she says. So that's why I was like, what about the baby? Is it a boy? <laughs> yeah. Ah, shut up. Oh, she goes, oh, and the little... You know, I just love him. I, of course. Oh my says. God. I had to wait an entire year to have my session with Amy. But when I tell you how worth it it was, but the fact that <laughs> without a doubt, I was talking to my little sister. What'd you do? What happened to you? Was there like a guy involved with this? Somebody like feeling up on her body as she's dying? This is weird. There's a guy involved. Somebody murdered her. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to put reason... it off as an overdose. No, no. Somebody gave it to her, and then I think also at the same time they gave her too much, and then what happened is like they felt her up as well, and they just left her there. The hard part about this session in particular was we didn't know exactly how my sister had died. We had speculations. Um, the detectives had speculations, but Amy literally knew, did not skip a beat, said this is what happened. That's exactly what happened. Did they like find her like two days later or something? Or like a day later? Um, she goes like this. She goes, man. They that... did say that she was in rigor mortis really? when they really? found her. Really? It almost feels like this person like had sex with her or something afterwards or like did something. Like... That was the first thing I dreamed of before I even knew she died, that she had been raped. Did the detective talk about how there was no forced foul play? Nobody knew what she was involved in, mm -hmm. and she had already been embalmed. All of the evidence was lost, and there was, it, like, the rape, for instance. He said, there was sex. We can't tell if it was consensual or non. It wasn't. Damn, this is, this is crazy. And even the words that she used that she would have had no idea. Never a, a newspaper report about my sister. There's nothing you can Google. The fact that she just knew without saying anything was insane. Probably the most beautiful moment in my eyes was my sister was cremated. I wanted a piece of her hair and I just wanted to keep a piece of her with me forever. And Allison very sarcastically said to Amy, basically Amy's just the vessel at this point. She cut my hair and she just keeps it in a plastic bag on a shelf somewhere. My jaw dropped and I was like, should I go get this bag with her hair in it? Because yeah, that exists. Did they like almost like cut it off right at the scalp for you? But I have her hair. <laughs> oh, shut up. Do you serious? Are you serious? She jokes. She says, do you have it in a plastic bag right now? <laughs> yes. Okay. She's joking with you. She goes, she's Meg. She goes, why don't you just get it out of that plastic bag and like make a doll out of it or something? Oh my uh, God. I've thought about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. It is. She's talking about putting it in your room, like on your dresser facing your bed. That's her yeah. dresser that's facing my bed, too, which is crazy. That's shut super up. crazy. Really? Yeah. It, it was just, it was beautiful. The things that she knew, the messages that she had to say. I mean, I got off the phone and immediately texted everybody and was like, you need to have a session with Amy. The closure that I felt from an hour long session, I mean, a million times over. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amy. Right cool. path at all? Are they doing, are they going to? No. Mm, is there anything I can be doing? Like I'm, I go crazy over this. No, no. I think that the person that did it is going to die, FYI. Like, so I, I think that karma is going to find its way back, whether we like it or not. I can tell you when they do something like this, that they don't go to a really good place. So where they go is a lot worse than jail. You brought hope back into my life to have validation. That she's there. She's listening to everything I say. And she's laughing at me the whole time. And um, it was really beautiful. Put it, she says, you don't have to keep fighting for me. Is because if we continue, it's going to take away from your life. And we're never actually going to find them. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. People said that it kind of brought back this light to my eyes that I haven't had in a very long time. Incredibly, incredibly thankful. She's talking about where her ashes are. And she goes, no, they split me up like playing cards. Everybody has one. And I go, well, what did they do with the rest of it? She was like, I don't want to be split in the ocean. Um, I spread her in the ocean, dang it. Shut up. Did you really? <laughs> Immediately after the session, I hung it up and I turned on music and I started dancing um, around my apartment because I knew she was right there and I knew that she was probably dancing with me um, or at least laughing at me. Do you need a new loofah for your bathroom? <laughs> Why 
Why does she? Why is she saying that? She's making fun of me again. Yeah, My loop is pretty old. I probably need a new. <laughs> uh, give me your address. I'm just gonna send you a new loop. Dang it, Amy! You're good at what you do. Thank you. I love. It. They're good. I just work here. Okay.